You know, as turners, we hate to admit defeat. I think we probably all have some failed projects. We don't like to throw wood away. We don't like to, we, we want closure on those failed projects. So sometimes we leave them someplace to kind of remind us and hope that they'll give us some inspiration. Uh, and today, this is where I keep uh, my, my failed or incomplete uh, pieces. So today, uh, I'm going to show you, this is not going to be a turning demonstration, but I'm going to show you uh, how I've resurrected uh, this shattered Limba platter. Some of y'all old time viewers may have watched, or new time viewers may have seen this this video where I had, as I was nearing completion on this project, it uh, it shattered on me, giving me a shower of uh, fluorescent uh, uh, lighting. And it sat here for a long time, and I knew I could do something with it, and finally the inspiration uh, came. A couple of years ago, I turned a small nativity scene. Last year, I turned one a little bit uh, larger. I'll have the links uh, above to those those projects. But what the scene lacked was some background drop, back background scenery, and and a, and a base to kind of pull the scenes together. So it finally dawned on me maybe I could use these these for that. So I've been, I've I've seen a number of pictures of of German nativity scenes, and that's where I got my inspiration from. As I got the inspiration from, from the uh, from the figures in the nativity scene. So the first thing I do is I put this on a piece of uh, cardboard to figure out what's the the stage going to be, and then I draw a line around it, and and then I'm I'm thinking trying to figure out how to use this, and I'm thinking all I need to do is square this up where it'll sit flat and cut away this on a bandsaw and, and sand the edges and put the two together. And then I'm thinking to elevate this up a little ways, I'll probably put a peg on each corner. So I cut out this basic shape and then I'm going to go looking for a piece of wood that will accommodate this. I think three quarters is a little a little heavy, so I think I want something a little thinner. I don't have a, a thickness planer any longer, so I may have to find something and get creative. Maybe just round over the corner there. Let's see what I can find. I have little skill with a scroll saw, so here goes nothing. Let's brace it. Yeah. Sketch out the shape on what will be the baseboard. A little contour in the middle. And round off the corners with a, with a top. Then I go to the bandsaw and cut it out.
I've taken all and I mark a couple of holes for some reinforcing pegs, one on each side. And I'm going to use little, little bamboo skewers that I measure the size of the hole, and the size of the skewer. This is pretty soft wood. Click the ends with. I use this little glue stick. It's sacrificing itself. I'll just stick in there. All right. Now I mark a little. Figure out exactly where that spot is on each side. Get it approximately right there on each one of these. We'll get it perpendicular. And just deep enough to seat. That looks pretty perpendicular. Okay. I'm going to glue in that little reinforcing pin there. Cut it off here. And I will glue that in there. Do the same thing on the other side. So I put a bamboo pin on each side. And I put one through uh, here, holding the arches together, and I'm just going to snip that off. And I can sand that off later. And here's my completed base. So I glued four tiny little blocks to kind of elevate it off the table a little bit. And who says you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear? And I've still got two-thirds of that platter left, uh, enough to make another one of these scenes uh, back, backdrops from my, my larger set of nativity scene. And I wish all you viewers out there a most Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And remember, y'all come on back here.